Hello, this is Carl Dannerberger, and uh, one of the things that uh, I watch, if you will, on uh, some of the websites is uh, uh, the GCSA TV um, channel where they ask superintendents uh, what's in their cart or, or what they, uh, they travel around on a daily basis with, and it varies uh, depending on the superintendent and the course, but this past summer, uh, uh, I paid special attention to uh, the courses I visited and to those uh, superintendents' uh, vehicles. So I thought I would share some of the things, not all, uh, of what uh, I saw in a number of uh, superintendents' carts. Of course, you know, I think I could have done it on a little warmer day or in the middle of the summertime than here, but uh, you know, sometimes I'm slow to react. Uh, just a few things. Um, which may seem pretty common, uh, or I'm going to stay with the common things here quickly. Uh, oftentimes, sunglasses. Uh, you know, obviously, working on sunny days in the summer, obviously not very effective for today. Um, communication devices, radios, are often in their carts. Uh, the coffee cup, uh, especially for early morning uh, rolling, is pretty common. Uh, some of the other things include uh, usually white paint, uh, oftentimes to uh, mark ground under repair. And uh, some of the guys will also uh, have the actual uh, paint marker uh, device to use with that. Uh, sunscreen seems pretty common or pretty obvious. And then some of the other things, uh, some of them, although this is somewhat expensive, is that uh, here is, uh, they check the actual height of cut, oftentimes when the mowers are out, um, compared to the bench setting that they may do in the shop. Uh, some of them carry the infrared thermometer gun, give them a, an idea of what the canopy temperature is at the time. Interestingly, uh, I was in... Uh, Home Depot the other day and now you can buy these things for like less than twenty dollars. And uh, one of the kind of, and I use this as an example of, of things that might be specific to uh, a certain situation or what, uh, some uh, superintendents carry information on something. Uh, for example, I, here I got a uh, field guide to birds and you kind of go, well, what's that? have to do with anything, but uh, if your course is an Audubon course or uh, it's extremely environmentally friendly, you may get a number of questions from members or players saying what kind of bird is that, and uh, if you can help look it up, uh, many of the superintendents uh, in those kind of situations have these kind of references materials. Uh, quite common too is the infamous stint meter. Many of the superintendents too also carry a putter, and not some cheap old banged up putter either. Because uh, you know, again, if if you're going up to hit some putts, test the uh, smoothness and roll of the green, um, you want uh, a putter that reflects your abilities and and things like that. And also too, if somebody's watching, you have to with a hitting a, a cheap old banged up putter, uh, they're not really going to believe you know what you're doing. A few other things too. Soil probe. Mm -hmm. um, keys for uh, uh, irrigation system, turning heads, things off that may be leaking, and they may report it to other crew members. Uh, and one thing that I'm seeing more and more are these uh, wand, uh, weed wand magic kind of devices where you can fill them up with a uh, with a herbicide or a herbicide solution and then just dab certain weeds or something that may be annoying to you. Again, a small scale kind of thing, but uh, uh, if something's annoying to a superintendent on a green or whatever. And finally, I have uh, I'll put this in here. Oftentimes they're carrying some sort of documentation device like a camera. Uh, now with the new improved smartphones and cell phones, you can take a picture that you may see out on the course uh, that you can either send to your members or uh, keep for reference or actually send to a diagnostic lab 
in case you have a have a problem. So that's some of the things that uh, superintendents here in the United States are carrying around in their carts. Uh, also, too, uh, if you have any suggestions that uh, you'd like to contribute to this video, please put them in the comments below. Thank you.